You know what's my favorite thing about doing these remote videos? No pants. Well, I, that was funnier. <laughs>
enmeshed and one with their instrument. Uh, just even the two minutes we got to spend watching that was really special to see. Interesting. So he he died in uh, 2012, right? Um, yeah, and he would have yeah. been 100 years old this year. So he de- he died uh, d- December 11th. This video was uploaded November 2nd of that same year. Hmm. Hmm. Is this his last performance? Uh, well, that's when the video was uploaded. When was this performance? Does it say in the um, breakdown? It was filmed in October of 2011, so it was one year before he passed. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, he's he's obviously even... So, like, we often say that all we knew about India was Gandhi, but everybody in America, most people have heard Ravi Shankar, the name. Yep. Yep. Most people, not everyone, but most people, uh, have heard music the name, lovers heard the name Ravi Shankar before, and they don't. They probably don't know where from. They're just like Ravi Shankar. Oh yeah, I mean, no, they they may not know what they would know his name, and then the next connection, if they make a connection, he's inseparable from the, the Beatles. Beatles. Yeah, inseparable. Um, but he's that same way with like Zakir Hussein and um, and any of the other masters that we've uh, come in contact. He, like he doesn't look like he's he, he's thinking about anything no he, he, he just has not. that much control or whatever you want to call it with that instrument uh where he just doesn't have to think and i still don't understand the sitar uh like <laughs> there's so many strings and so many it looks like there's so many things that could get in your way and i just i don't understand it but it's impressive uh yeah it, it this, this is good me maybe a weird comparison but you know how um and GOT, the three-eyed raven in that tree, it's basically they're one and the same thing. Uh, he's basically so enmeshed that he has become one with that thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I. That's what happens when you know watching Ostaji Zakir Hussein and and watching seeing him just for those two minutes. It's there's an inseparability between the the artist and the instrument that it, very very rare to be able to see someone of that stature playing for that long uh toward the end of his life uh i'd I'd love to see that whole thing man and that was yeah i feel robbed (laughs) yeah we got just two minutes of that two minutes is criminally short for anything anything indian really anything indian Uh, yeah come on that's what i don't even take two i I don't even take (laughs) even uh, that i take more time drinking street chai than i do in my little you know come on two minutes good (laughs) grief (laughs) Yeah, so let us know uh, what other performances of his, or if there's other, because I think he, there's a lot that, on him, man. I think the only sitar player that we know is his daughter. Um, I don't know if we've explored any of the other ones, but I'm sure there's other legends of the of the sitar, obviously. Absolutely, um, yeah. And so uh, let us know who those are and and who we should be well, exploring, because you know we mm-hmm. like to explore all different aspects of the of India and, and their music and their. Well, the, the next person ap- after yeah, after him and his daughter, the next person who comes to mind who we haven't talked about in a really long time is your mom. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for.